हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ आशुतोष भोसले टुडे आई एम हियर विथ वन ऑफ माई न्यू इंट्रैक्शन सेशन वन ऑफ माई पी एच डी स्कॉलर माई सीनियर उदय सर सो विदाउट विदाउट वेस्टिंग सो मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हेलो सर हेलो हेलो एवरी वन सर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी अबाउट युअर सेल्फ आई एम उदय कुमार करेंटली इन माई थर्ड इयर ऑफ Uh, PhD in Department of Pharmacy Practice from Naipur Hajipur. I had taken my admission in uh, 2021. I had done my masters in uh, this very institute yes. from the same department as well. Yes. So coming to the next question, sir. Uh, tell me about the pharmacy practice, its scope and its opportunity. I I have many comments on my uh, YouTube video that uh, uh, what is pharmacy practice? Is there any scope and opportunities and have we uh, job opportunities after pharmacy practice? Okay. Yes. Uh, pharmacy practice is being uh, one of the non-core departments in pharmaceutical sciences has a wide range of opportunities. Yes. Uh, coming to the understand, coming to understand what pharmacy practice actually is. is uh, it is a i could say it is a hybrid course which includes pharmaceutical sciences and a part of uh, biomedical sciences as well since we deal with a lot of uh, clinical activities and clinicals clinical works uh, epidemiology studies and pharmacopoeia epidemiology studies adr reporting and what not and all of that uh, as you can see if you if if i talk about the scope of being pharmacy practice uh, i would say both private and the government semi government institutes offering wide range of uh, job opportunities for the upcoming generations and the students who are who are pursuing uh, uh, pharmacy practice m pharm in pharmacy practice uh, which is equivalent to pharm d yes sir which is a 6 years course yes, sir, uh, it is pretty much equivalent to the pharm d course yes so coming to the job opportunities in private institutions private companies yes. uh we know a lot of cros yes. clinical research organizations mm. uh which handle bigger clients like novartis or uh, dr reddies and all of that yeah. so once the drug drugs are in the market the phase 4 trials yes. which is basically post marketing surveillance what we call it uh so in that the pharmaco vigilance work the regulatory work the clinical data management work metro vigilance work especially metro vigilance work which is a very newly upcoming uh, domain yes, which has a lot of potential to it yes. uh, all of those job opportunities the pharmacy practice students are coreely trained to do that particular jobs yes. you can consider scientific writing medical writing health economics and uh, outcome yes. research yes. srma especially srma model development yes. signal detection in adrs all of those works which are remotely uh related to biostatistics yes, yes. pharmacy practice students are the best and pharmacy practice students are more <clears throat> inclined towards doing that works yes sir yes and most prepared more more prepared preferred as well yes sir coming to the government side very recently the pharmacy council of india and the indian gazette indian government gazette has passed resolution for including clinical pharmacists yes sir clinical in pharmacy. hospital settings yes sir clinical pharmacists in hospital setting will not be possible without a pharma d student or one with m pharm pharmacy practice students yes, yes. one who one the students who understand clinical settings yes. and the requirement of clinical settings the one with very, very good knowledge of drugs their adverse drug reactions and uh, medication ma- management and all of that i think pharmacy practice students are doing a very better job mm-hmm. and should be more preferred yes students in that particular arena uh, apart from this we do have a lot of colleges coming up for pharmacy practice since this is quite new in india mm-hmm. uh, it has been accepted into the pharmaceutical domain mm-hmm. and uh, quite good opportunities in teaching side as well yes sir teaching for pharm d students doctor of pharmacy students pharm d students and uh, m pharm pharmacy practice students so those are about it as this is the indian scenario if i would like to talk about the foreign scenario it is pretty much same the opportunities that we are getting today in private sector or government sector which has been adapted from the foreign settings only okay 
so i strongly believe that there are very good opportunities for pharmacy st- practice students and if there are students who would la- who are still at doubt to take or not whether we should take pharmacy practice or not mm-hmm. i would tell you with a lot of confidence without any doubt go ahead and take it yes sir. it is going to give a very good life it has a very good life and uh, it is going to be very much useful in the yes. coming world yes okay. uh, thank you so much sir for this questions i think juniors or upcoming ni periods will be much more clear from this question so coming to the next question sir why uh, do you choose to become a phd scholar and uh, what is the scope of phd after completion of your uh, academic year okay. so that's a very interesting and a very good question yes. because i see a lot of uh, students who had done just done post graduation are in quite a bit of confusion Uh, yes. whether they should take a phd or whether they should go for a job and what's happening there there are a lot of confusion yes sir so this is for all the students who are pursuing uh, post graduation in the second year of or just still mm-hmm. the po- people who have started it mm-hmm. or about to start it or already have completed one year of their post graduation mm-hmm. <coughs> doing a phd will give you an enormous opportunities in particularly for job opportunities hmm. okay hmm. and second thing is for uh, your long planning okay long term planning for long your long term yes. planning yes. it is going to help you in a very quiet manner quite nice manner yes. so assume that in private companies so you have uh, done post graduation and you have taken a job mm-hmm. you have started at entry level or let's say level 1 or level 2 or whatever it is mm-hmm. and you have done job for uh, almost 3 or 4 years or 5 years and you are at one position particular position so me being a student with a phd a yes, person sir. with a phd yeah. i'm going to start at the same level okay. not at the ground level i'm going to start at the level which you are on yes sir and i will be promoted to the top brass huh. faster than you yes sir that is the point faster yes, than you yeah. and second thing you can go and check pretty much any company mm-hmm. any company you pick any company r and d research and development mm-hmm. in cro's the top most positions or top 10 positions are occupied by the people yes, with yes, phds yes, yes sir make no mistake in that yes sir yes doctorate okay. is the highest yes sir. doctorate is much necessary <coughs> secondly with the phd you could definitely go into very good government jobs like professorships yes sir okay mm-hmm. teaching jobs very highly secure yes okay sir. jobs which are quite secure uh which will give you a lot of central government and state government benefits yes sir yes mm-hmm. easy jobs to do mm-hmm. and uh, they are in better position you could do a lot of work which will be directly uh, related to public outcomes yes sir okay especially in pharmacy practice since yes, we do clinical studies mm-hmm. do an epidemiology study or any study which is in the hospital setting mm-hmm. an observational study also there are a lot of things that could be implemented in clinical settings which will be very useful yes sir yes okay so third thing is your perception in decision solving decision making mm-hmm. and problem solving yes sir mm-hmm. will improve a lot if you do a phd not only in pharmacy practice in general i'm saying in general a phd student encounters a lot of problems yes, uh, academically and non academically as well yes so being in this particular domain or uh, doing your phd will uh, give you a very different perception on decision making mm-hmm. uh, problem solving abilities okay uh, and all of that that's a outstanding thing and moreover in government apart from professorships you could go as scientists mm-hmm. okay yes sir uh, you could go as scientists or you could go do your post doctoral fellowship in foreign universities or any universities which yes, will pay sir. very good money yes. if you have your own protocol or if you have your own study yes sir you could apply for a funding hmm. uh for pmrf fellowships or anything yes. so government is giving a lot of fellowships dst is providing a lot of uh, funding and all of that yes, so in that area you could uh, attain a lot of funding and you could do a very good and sound searching research hmm. as we all know uh the vaccines which we made hmm. for covid yes sir which were made by indian scientists yes. are standing still steady yeah. and strong in the world mm-hmm. when even johnson and johnson vaccines have failed yes sir our icmr vaccine is standing still yes so that was done by scientists who has done a phd yeah so i don't think so 10 years 20 years down the lane mm-hmm. where where you have you been doing job and you earned good money and all of that yes. that 
thing when you achieve something more than money that will give you a very good relief in your life that yes you have done something for the community yes. or done something for the nation yes so that perspectives are always there so looking into all of this perspective so i have chosen to do i have chose to do a phd yes okay, sir thank you so much sir for this uh, answer i think uh, all of us now clear with wh- why should we go for phd and higher education rather than uh, looking for a masters and uh, getting a job Thank you.